x understand the group by link method. So here I have a class which you can see is called student. It has a name and the class that the student is in. Then I am creating a list of students. So this variable here will hold a list of students and I have the following students. Sadi in math, Sarah in science, John in math, Zara in science and Tom in history. So you can see I have one, two, three, four, five students. So what I want to do is I want to group all the math students together, all the science students together and all the history students together. So a bit like the SQL method of group I, what you need to do is declare another variable called group. This will hold your group of students and then using lambda operator here, you need to use the class. So the class here is the student's class. So that's the variable. In this instance, it's a string, but can be an integer too, or any other value that you want. So it will group it by this value of class, which is math, science, or history. Then what it's going to do is any students, first it will go through, for example, math, and then it will look for another student who is in math and then add them together. Now, I won't necessarily do it in that order. So it will do it as it goes through the list of items. So it will create a subgroup over here for math and then the next item is looked at and if it is math then it will add it to the same group otherwise it will create a new group for the science and then because math already exists here it will add this one done to the math group and then science because they already exist it'll add it to science because history the first time it's seen it it will create a new group for it so you can see that's where the groups will be stored so then when you loop through the groups here, what you want to do is you want to show the key of the group. So what is the key of the group? It is basically the class type. So think of this other dictionary. So you have key and value pairs. So the key will be the class. So that would be math, science, history. That would be your key. And the values would be the individual students under those groups. So once you have that, then you're going to loop through the students. So here we are going to loop through each student and print out the group key, which would be the class and then the student name so the student object over here is still accessible within the group and the group by if i run this again you can see a bit of pattern going on which is under the math class you've got tally and john and then under the science class you have sarah and zara and under history you have tom so this is how you work with the group by in c sharp and the link feature within c sharp